measuring the speed of sound and electricity. In this lab, you will be measuring the speed of two different pulses, a sound pulse and an electrical pulse. In the first part of the lab, you will be measuring the speed of sound. We have two microphones that are separated by a known distance, and both of them are going into our digital oscilloscope. By making a loud, singular sound, we can measure the time delay between when the oscilloscope notices the sound in one microphone and noticing the sound in the other microphone. Knowing that distance, we can then calculate the speed of sound of that pulse traveling from one to the other. You can then repeat this at different distances to verify your amount. In the second part of this lab, you will be measuring the speed of electricity going down a wire. In this case, we have a 5-volt power supply that is attached to this telegraph switch. So there is a gap. When the circuit is open, the oscilloscope will measure a voltage difference of zero between the two points. And when the switch is closed, it will measure a difference of five volts. That will be the pulse that we are measuring. Going into one channel of the oscilloscope, we have a short set of wires on the order of 15 centimeters, and going into the other port of the oscilloscope, making the same electrical connections, we have over seven meters of wire. That is long enough that we will be able to tell the difference between the signal traveling down the short length of wire and the signal traveling down the long bundle of wire. After we have that measurement, we can add additional bundles of wire to verify that speed. Some very important equipment things to keep in mind while you're doing this lab. By the nature of this being a mechanical switch, a lot of the time when you close that switch, you won't get a particularly good pulse. That is understood and expected. Data collection goes about this fast. Hit go. No good. No. Okay, hit go. Hit go. Hit go. Hit go. That's a good one. So we expect it will take multiple trials to get a good, clean electrical pulse. To get a clean sound pulse, you're going to need a fairly loud, very sharp sound. So if we hear this, that's kind of a dull thud, that's not going to work. You really want to hold the stick really only by the edges and give a very sharp rasp. That sharp sound is what's going to produce the nice pulse that you'll be able to see in the oscilloscope. Thank you for watching this video. Here is your fun fact of the day. By sheer coincidence, the speed of light is almost exactly one foot per nanosecond.